Welcome to Chinta Statistics and Data Science. Today we are going to solve this problem from ISIMSTAT 2018. The problem is on your screen. Let x1 through xn, suppose x1 through xn are iid observations from a distribution assuming values minus 1, 1, and 0 with probabilities p, p, and 1 minus 2p respective, where p lies between 0 and half. Define zn equals to product of the xi's and a n is equals to the following a n is probability z n equals to 1 p n is probability z n equals to minus 1 and c n is probability z n equals to 0 then as n tends towards infinity the following options which of the following options are true so basically it means that probability x i equals to x is p if x is equals to 1 or minus 1 and 1 minus 2 p is x equals to if x equals to 0 right so we have the PMF of XI and XI is at IID. Now ZN is nothing but the product of the XI. So it's very clear that since XN is ZN is the product of the XI and each of the XI is either 0, minus 1 or plus 1. Therefore ZN, the entire value of ZN is also 0, 1 or minus 1, right? It's very easy to understand that it cannot have any other values. So all you have to do is basically find out the PMF of, PMF of the random variable zn now probability zn equals to 0 is basically probability at least one of the xi is equals to 0 now it is nothing but 1 minus probability xi is not equals to 0 for all i that means that since the xi is independent it is nothing but 1 minus probability 1 minus product of probability xi not equals to 0 that means 1 minus product of probability xi equals to 1 or xi equals to minus 1, right? That means 1 minus product of probability xi equals to 1 plus probability xi equals to minus 1. Now each of them are each of them are p, right? This is p and this is also p. That means 2p. We have 2p and there is a product term. So 1 minus 2p whole to the n. This is pn. This is probability z n equals to 0, right? This is the probability of z being 0. So we have already found out the value of c n. Now, what about this? This was easy because this entire thing z n is zero. If at least one of them is zero, then z n is zero. So we have taken the negation of this this event because it's easy to do that, way, right? So none of them being zero means each of them being either one or minus one again, since they have the equal probability of p and p. This is also p. And this is also p. That means two p. And here we have the sum, the entire answer. Now, for a n, a n is equal, this is probability z n equals to 1. That means what? It means each of the x i has to be non-zero because if even one of them is zero, then in the, entire, in the entire product becomes zero. So we don't want that. So each of them has to be non-zero. And an even number of x i is minus 1, right? Exactly, an even number of them has to be minus 1. And the others have to be, have to be 1. So it can be the case that all of the x i's are 1 or exactly two of them are minus 1. Or exactly four of them are minus one, right? You're you're getting the point. Just just breaking down the events into you know, understandable events. This either all x i's are minus uh, all x i's are one. This is all this is one possibility. Exactly two of them are minus one, and the rest are one. Exactly four of them are minus one, or rest are one, and exactly in this way we have the we have broken down the probability. Now the good thing is that x i being one and minus one are both equally likely right it has the same probability for we, we know the answer this this particular this particular probability we know the pmf of xi so probability xi equals to x is p if both x is equals to one or minus one right so probability x all of the xi are one is p p to the n right again exactly two of them being minus one it means that n choose 2 because we don't know which one of them which two of them is the minus one term so n choose 2 times p to the n because the probabilities are the same so n choose 2 times p to the n again plus n choose 4 times p to the n and so on up to n choose 2k times p to the n but k is a natural number such that 2k is less than equals n and 2 into k plus 1 is greater than n that means 2k is the largest even integer less than equals n but this is nothing but p to the n times common. It, it, I've just taken the common from here, and this is p to the n minus 1. This is the binomial th theorem result, so you should know that this part. This 
this thing is actually 2 to the n minus 1. So this is nothing but a n is equals to probability z n equals to 1 is 2 p whole to the n by 2. And b n can be easily found out by probability z n equals to minus 1 is nothing one is nothing but 1 minus probability z n equals to 0 and z n equals to 1, right? Because obviously z n is takes only three values, 1, minus 1, and 0. So from there we can find that it's again 2 p whole to the n by so under the effect of limit, this these three things we have got a n, b n, and c n, and p is state to be less than half. So that means two p is lies between zero and one. So under the effect of limit, under the effect of limit, that means as n tends towards infinity, a n turn, tends towards zero, b n also tends towards zero, and c n tends towards one. Right? This is the idea. This is the only idea, because 2p lies between 0 and 1 and when we take the limit when we take hold to the power n it becomes 0 right so we have the following answer this answer this one this option c is the answer right it's easy right it's not that difficult it's quite easy so there you have it the solution to this problem see you till then